the Turkish getup. To me, this is basically like the holy grail of corrective exercises. We can break this down to it, into its many components and many constituents and use different aspects of this to improve different capacities for movement. But I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what we're trying to do with each step that we go through here just because I cannot go through the entire Turkish getup in two minutes. So in order to set up, first you want to start with obviously a kettlebell. You're going to have the kettlebell in one arm straight. The same side leg is going to be bent. From there, you are then going to push into the floor, roll yourself over, and peel yourself up onto the support elbow. You then, from there, transition your elbow to your hand. Once you transition to your hand, your goal is to shift your weight over to that hand a little bit more, still pushing the floor away, though, so that you can make sure you maintain a packed shoulder position and that the lat is pre-engaging to help stabilize your pelvis so that when you go to the bridge, you're able to get the opposite glute and lat connecting together. Once you finish the bridge portion, your goal then is to take that straight leg, swing it through or thread it through underneath you, and place it down next to your support hand. Basically replacing the support hand with the support knee. Once you get that knee in place, you're going to then perform basically a half kneeling windmill where you shift your weight over to the other leg, come up into a half kneeling position with the weight still overhead. Once you get into that half kneeling position, you are going to keep your eyes level with the horizon, square your hips off, and then simply go through a basic lunge and then repeat the process in reverse on the way down. A um, couple things to keep in mind as far as key points go. Number one, your breath and your spinal positioning matter a lot with this. Okay, Make sure that you're constantly focusing on connecting rib cage and pelvis together, not necessarily stacked because there's some rotation involved, but just make sure that your core is constantly supporting you and that your breath is efficient. And make sure that you're squeezing the bell hard and that for the majority of this, your eyes stay fixed on the bell. The more you can have visual focus on the object you're moving, the more your body will organize itself around it.